Hello friends, hello. Oh my goodness. I have not been in this game in quite a bit. Um, had a pretty crazy week and then I was, for whatever reason, I felt compelled to decide to work on Zelda Breath of the Wild. I didn't totally vibe with that game when I first got it. Um, and I realized that it's one of the only games on my Switch that I have not like fully completed. I haven't beaten the big main storyline of that game yet. Um, so I thought I'd try and like get some progress in that. And like fighting sometimes stresses me out. So I was kind of just working on getting shrines unlocked and I ended up getting the Master Sword, but I still have not touched a single boss fight in that. I've not defeated like any of the Ganons. So because of that, I was not in Stardew. <clears throat> and if I'm being completely honest, I don't, I don't really remember what our tasks are or what our goals were. Um, we don't have anything in our journal, so honestly, we're just gonna run around and have just a chill time doing whatever the heck we feel like doing because I don't know, I feel like I just need a little mindless gameplay today. Oh no, what's this? Gus, good morning. What a beautiful day. You know, as the saloon owner, I hear about everything that's going on in town. I remember when you first moved here, everyone was a bit unsure of what to expect. A stranger from the city, an unknown personality. Sorry, I have to stir this pot every five minutes. Weird, usually it has to be on heat or something, Gus, but okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you know, it's like when you're ma making a sauce. If you put in a new spice, you could ruin everything. Oh geez, there is, you have like a portable stove. But then again, there's always a chance you'll create something new and delicious, right? Where are we going with this? What I'm trying to say is it's been great having you in town and I've come to think of you as one of my good friends. Anyway, I came to give you something. I was cleaning out the back room and I found this old mini jukebox. I want you to have it. All right, a mini jukebox. It's actually an old do-it-yourself project of mine from many years ago. They're pretty easy to make. So just in case you wanted to make more, I brought the blueprints for you. Interesting. I'm gonna head home. I gotta get this marinara back on the stove. That's okay. How did it, how did it combust? It, there were flames. Oh well, not important. But yeah, so I don't really have any, you unlocked the back room of the shop. <gasps> what? Okay. That can be something we do. Remember to eat healthy or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I decided to give you my favorite recipes. Spaghetti, well, that's apropos given Gus just was making spaghetti sauce in front of us. Here's a recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone, I'm giving it to you because we're such good friends. Wow, so much mail, my goodness. Here's a recipe for a little treat my pappy used to make. Cook it slow, cheese collie. Whoa, okay, what is going on? I'd like to share an old cooking recipe. I already did that one. Wait, this is chowder. What's happening? Okay. Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, interesting. Must have something to do with fixing up the community center. Everyone's sharing their recipes. Um, okay, so we can go check out the fish store again and see what that back room is after we do all of this stuff. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just needing something to chill with. You know, it's been a hectic time and honestly, Zelda uses a lot of brain power and I get lost all the time, which I don't think anyone is surprised by given the fact that I get lost in this game as well. I 
should have thought about the placement of this barn a bit better. It's really hard to tell where things are with being hidden behind that, um, those trees. And since I haven't been here, I don't remember if we have anything in the greenhouse, so other than our fruit trees, but those aren't needing to be watered all the time. Oops, looks like we have some potatoes. Um, I can stockpile those just in case we get the task to be able to make whatever potato drink Pam wants us to make on the community task board, which might be something to check on as well. Um, other than that, I feel like maybe, oh geez, here we go again. Is it that time of year? Um, let's put the jukebox maybe inside over here. This is kind of where I'm keeping all like the decoration slash furniture stuff. Oops, so that's a good place for that. I don't really know what the benefit is of putting up a jukebox other than maybe you can select from the Stardew soundtrack and have like specific things play. Oh, we were gonna keep those, okay. We might keep them out here just so I don't accidentally cook with them. And I already forgot what my next task was. I guess just go into town. Oh, was it the last day of the season? How interesting. Maple syrup. So I've been, I guess holiday season, there's always like a ton of deals for Switch games. And there are so many Switch games on sale that I want to, that I would love to have. And now I just can't figure out which ones I should prioritize because every game I'm like, I read the synopsis and I'm like, oh, maybe that one. And then I'm like, well, let me just read this next one and see what, see if I just like jog my memory about it and I read it and it's like oh but I like that concept too and it's just like I can't ever pick and then I just don't end up picking luckily the sale is going until like early December so I have a while to um figure it out what is this it's a boat oh he's sad a sad sight she was my father's boat, served him well for over 50 years, but now she can barely stay afloat. I'd repair it myself, but I don't have the right materials. 200 pieces of hardwood to patch the hole would be a good start, but we'll also need to get the ticket machine back up and the iridium anchor repaired. Oh no, not iridium. If I could get me hands on the right materials and repair the old girl, well, I could take you to the Fern Islands. What? A new area? Volcanic islands full of strange parrots. Parrots? Heck yeah, I'll help. We could get hardwood pretty quick. Um, the iridium's gonna be the, 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 the tough spot. I'll leave the store unlocked and you can drop off the materials whenever you like. How cool. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna need. Five battery packs. 200 pieces of hardwood, five iridium bars. You know, I might have some from just sheer luck of finding them. But it's also Sunday, so let's go look and see if the traveling cart lady is out there. She sometimes sells iridium bars, and then we won't have to go to the school cavern. 
because I think that's where you get iridium ores. And we know how I feel about this gold cavern. Not good. No, yeah, but there's so many awesome, like, smaller games that I'm, like, really interested in playing. Like, um, there's one called The Case of the Golden Isle. Case of the Golden Idol, that's, like, mystery, murder mystery detective puzzle game, and it seems really interesting, really unique. And then there's just, like, so many new games that are coming out, and, geez, it's just, like, how do you, how do you choose... Okay, nothing really there, but while we're in this area, we can go get some hardwood and then go check um, in all of our treasure chests at our farm to see what we are hiding. Oh no. Get away, get away. Oops, okay, wrong way. In case, usually there's some slime standing here waiting to attack. Are there? No. Okay. Alright, let's go see how close we are to helping out Willie with his repair for his boat. It just needs to rain a good amount for us to get some battery packs because um, we do have that lightning rod which usually if there's a lightning storm that is how you get the battery pack so hopefully in the next few days it'll rain maybe I don't know I think we're about to go into summer I don't know if it rains very much in the summer Oh my gosh, we have so much hardwood. Okay. And then, I don't remember where I kept battery packs. It might be with, like, the mining stuff in here. I have two. Okay. So that's not the worst. And then, I only have two iridium bars. But I have ten iridium ore. So maybe we make a few iridium bars now. That should get us part way there. What am I doing? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay. I think... I need to make like a little tree place on my farm for me to start growing some some trees that I'll keep like I have so many like I need to have like a little area where I have like at least maybe I don't know maybe four two or two or two of each have like a little eight block pout patch of trees Okay, let's drop off that hardwood. Because that will be a check off of the to-do list. I'm trying to think if there's any other way to get iridium that's not... Because I don't even know what level of the school cavern the iridium ore starts. Because that could be the real deal breaker. Let's see. Let's see where it says. Okay, so you can find them in geodes. So I guess they're actually not in the... Oh yeah, iridium nodes can be found in the Skull Cavern.
further you go down. Okay. No, don't leave. I need to... I need to get back here. I think maybe now that we have access, we can just um, show up whenever we want. I'm, I have my, my dryers running. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is done. But it'll, it can just chill out in the dryer. It was a day of chores today. Did grocery shopping, did like so many loads of laundry. It was a day of chores. I wish I could just get, I wish I could just like pick it, pick a new one whenever. But we have to wait. Okay, I'm trying to see where else. So mystic stones, it says mystic stones can be found in the mines. Floor 100 plus. What do they look like? Mystic. Oh, they're like a stone with blue, blue spirals all over them. I've never, I've never seen that. I mean, it doesn't hurt to just go hit some rocks in the mines, see if we can find anything. Only also because we can maybe, do I know what I'm doing yet? Um. Yes and no. I'm learned. I'm figuring it out. I just hadn't been playing this game for like a, a week and I totally lost track of what my progress points were supposed to be. I know I'm trying to build more buildings and etc, but we're just kind of running around having having some fun. And that's really that's really the best part. Is you can just run around and do whatever you want. Find little tasks along the way. But our new objective is to fix the boat, which is a great objective to have, I think, because then we can go to a new area later. But I am looking for iridium and trying to avoid going to the school cavern as much as I humanly possibly can. But we will, we need five bars and I have two, two are currently in in the smelting progress so we will have four soon and we just need five more ores which you know is OGs which is um, technically not a lot but when iridium is such a I don't know it's like such a hard thing to find it turns out to be like a pretty big task because it's just hard to find and I'm sure it, I'm if I would just bite the bullet and go into the skull cavern, I would probably find it a lot easier, but I'm just a little afraid of the serpents. They're so fast and they hurt so much when they hit you. But it's also getting late. So where am I going? Bus stop and then I think tomorrow is going to be the first day of a new season, which will be fun. I should probably sell some stuff. Okay, so what should we keep? I feel like I should start saving the bombs. Oh my goodness, okay. I was just saying that, cause like, I like, sometimes I'm really in the mood for combat. Like I played through Eastward and I weirdly like, kind of miss the like oops that's not where I wanted to put that I kind of miss like the the combat in that um but I was just trying to have a little bit more progress in Breath of the Wild which I know is like I know since Tears of the Kingdom is out I don't have Tears of the Kingdom just because I wasn't I didn't vibe as much as most people did with um Breath of the Wild I'm just not used to that kind of a game but I am like terrified to fight any of the Ganons so like I fully respect anyone who's like great at combat because like it's such a struggle for me 
Kingdom Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'll have to look it up. I am trying to become more like varied in games that I play. I love trying new things, but sometimes it's just like the learning curve is so crazy to learn like new um, controls and stuff. Um, but yeah, I always love, and I also just love learning about like the process people took in like um, developing the game and like the things they were inspired by. So yeah, I'll definitely check out that game. That's really cool. Oh, I guess that's probably a part of like the difficulty. Like they wanted to make it a bit more difficult. So they would like obstruct your, your view with like helmets and like the UI around on the screen. Oh, I forgot that like at the start of the season, there's all this like detritus around. Oh well, we can clean up the farm later. I'm not sure I wanna do this right now. I should get um, all the ores and the two battery packs I have and just drop those off before I forget that I have them. It sounds like a very, it sounds like a very complex game, but like, I bet once you learn all the tricks and stuff, it's so like satisfying to be able to um, like fully play that game to, to like the best results. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, I love that. Historically accurate medieval 1400s. That sounds like an amazing environment to be playing a game in. What a vibe, honestly. Like such a cool, like the architecture and everything that, 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 that would be such a cool world to explore. All the cities and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. There's nothing better than like getting the perfect combo down to like, just like, get a, a battle, like, not get a battle, but like, beat a boss in like, one to two hits, like, that's the, that's like the best thing, like, when I played Eastward, I honestly, like, I died a ton, but like, once I learned the patterns and was able to like, blow through some of the first stages of those fights until I got to an area where like, I hadn't been before, it felt so cool, I just felt like I was like, invincible. Yeah, I bet it is. It's kind of like, I feel like it's it's similar, but not similar at all to like remembering dance steps or like trying to remember like, like when you played Dance Dance Revolution at like an arcade and you had to like remember like where your feet need to go. It's like kind of similar to that, but like with your, with the joystick and the, and the D-pad and everything. <laughs> Wait, like you have to eat, sleep and drink as the character or as yourself? Because probably both, but... Maybe just as yourself, because it is hard to take care of yourself. It is hard to work that into playing a fun game sometimes. You just get so wrapped up in it. In character, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Sometimes, like, I like that, like, some of these games, like, is, for instance, with Breath of the Wild, where am I, why am I going inside? Um, like, you don't have to sleep, which is kind of nice, because you can just, like, run around forever. And if you want to, you can, like, progress the time by like sitting by a campfire. Sometimes I like that in a game so where you're not, like in this one, like you have to go to bed at a certain point, otherwise you pass out. I kind of like having the ability to just like run around endlessly, but it's definitely one of the least realistic things um, in some games, but honestly, like I don't really mind it. Oh good, we can pick something. Maybe we can try and make the potato drink. Nope, okay. Um, so we wanna do fishing, 100 melons. We wanna fish or do we wanna plant melons? Um, I don't know what I wanna do. I usually do the fishing just cause it's faster 
yeah, let's just do the fishing. I like to fish. Fishing's fun. Oh, neat. This game sounds so intricate. It seems like the it, there was a lot of thought put into all the elements of it. So interesting. Okay, I didn't grab all of my iridium ore, but we can just drop off what we have. Um, did I not bring any of them? Oh, can I only drop off when I have five? We'll just wait until I have five. We can go put those back. Um, and hope for some rain so we can get some more battery packs. And then we can fish in the lake. Fish in the lake. Thank you so much for the follow. That is so kind of you. I really appreciate it. Um, so when you're playing as this blacksmith named Henry, um, do you think they're gonna have like a hero's journey and become like some fully powerful person? Or is it just you're gonna kind of stay the same but still go on these like little quests and adventures but still be considered the blacksmith in town? Cause that would be an interesting plot line if you like have that hero journey. Ooh, some more truffles. Let's see. I need to put things away. And maybe... Oh, I haven't checked my, um... What's it called? Um, 20 lake fish, okay. I haven't checked my mushroom cave. Where... I'm losing my mind. I can put the jade in here too. Interesting. This sounds like it would be, I mean, honestly, um, it sounds like it would be such an intriguing story to like i wonder do you know how long like on average people take to play through it because it seems like it's a really detailed story for this game other game that we're learning about here it seems so intricate and like such like a sprawling like i mean if it's set in the medieval times like that's such a big time span to be able to explore too which is so cool Man, games, they blow my mind. They really do. Okay, I'm gonna move that up here again. Oh my goodness, what happened? Okay, oh well. Let's go fish. Let's go fish in the lake. And we can forage, which is always so fun. Especially, where am I going? We'll go to the quarry. Do you play it on Switch or is it a PC? Or one of the other consoles like Xbox or something? I also love it when like a first, a development company's like first game is so intriguing like that because it really shows like promise for future projects that they're gonna work on oh my gosh 40 to 50 hours oh my gosh fully 130 to 150 see that's awesome because you have a lot of content to work through so you could like have that as like your main game and then play like little side games when you need a break that's pretty great but also very intimidating like i would be afraid to pick that up a little bit i feel like so much um, lies ahead. It's a little bit scary. Ooh, cool. I think fast travel is a really important aspect to have in a game. 
of some sort, just because it can get pretty tedious to have to constantly be running through the same areas. Although some games make it because there's like things you're supposed to discover by just kind of running um, around, but I do, I do appreciate a good fast travel system. Like this one has the mine carts and in Breath of the Wild you can like travel to each tower or the shrines. I think that's really a fun part to, to include. We are getting the fish. Heck yeah, this might take less than seven days. Wow, I'm feeling lucky. Just because I feel this way though, we're about to get some, some algae, I bet. Or trash. One of the two. Oh goodness. You can get ambushed during the fast travel. That is really unique. I've never heard of anything like that. Ooh, that's exciting. A second, a sequel potentially. Nice. Oh, wrong direction, Isabel. Way to go. Okay. I feel like I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm probably gonna have to go into the skull caverns for any more iridium. But I might just, you know, wait and check the traveler's cart a couple times before I do that. Just cause. Uh, I have such a hard time with, cause like I do look at reviews for games. Um, but I do have such a hard time with believing them fully because it is so subjective to how you prefer to play a game. Like, somebody's combat system that they love could definitely not vibe with someone else and the other way around too. And it's just like, it's so hard. It's more like, I feel like it should become more of a norm for games to have demos available just like right off the bat because like it's so helpful to be able to play just like even like a few levels or just like a couple campaign like not even a full campaign just like half of a campaign even to learn if that game is going to be something that you're going to enjoy before you feel like you need to like sink all your time into it or if you like feel like it's going to be something that's not going to serve you in entertaining you or anything like that um but yeah, game reviews, like when people like Metacritic and all that, like I can see where it's valuable sometimes, but then other times I'm just like, almost all of them get sevens, which is basically like not giving it a score because that just leaves so much room for someone to say they don't like it and someone to say they do like it or they like one part of it and not the other part. It's just crazy. It's so hard. Yeah, that's the other thing, like if, if, if the combat is hard for somebody to grasp, they're gonna think it's bad combat, whereas if someone's able to like learn it a bit better, it feels more intuitive to them, they're gonna think it's great combat. So it's really all so subjective, but it's crazy how different, how games can have such different combat. Like there's so many um, unique ways to, to make your game stand out and make it a bit different. And I think that's really valuable too. I think I would be afraid if someone could attack me while I was climbing. It would make me afraid to do, like, my back's turned, give me a break. Oh, see, there it is. We got some algae. We were too lucky for too long. That would be really cool. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. Uh, I'll definitely drop in for a bit. It's always, that's the other thing I like about like 
watching streams is you can see more of what more than what the game trailer would show you and a lot of times game trailers don't always show the legit gameplay they'll show like cutscenes or like I don't know just like not the mechanics of it and watching someone play through a game can really show if it's something that you think you'd enjoy so yeah I'll check out the stream that's awesome what was that that sounded like a bird never heard that sound or I just wasn't paying attention I tend to do that sometimes Okay, I think let's check our our progress. Oh my gosh, over half. We're, we're golden. We can definitely call it for the day. Set some of those geodes to break apart in our little geode thingy-majig. Whoops, there we go. Heck yeah, clay. Because eventually when we get more buildings built, we will have to make more pathways and all of that. I'm a big fan of side quests. I love side quests because it's like, if I don't feel like taking on a really big fight or anything really important, I just wanna kinda of run around and explore, those are perfect for that. I'm a huge fan of side quests. Like that's currently all I'm doing in Breath of the Wild because I'm afraid of the big, the big bad guys. I grew up playing games with um, my sister and I would always give her the remote or the controller or whatever we were playing with when there was like a big fight and she was supposed to help me out with some of these, um, these Ganon battles over the weekend or over the holiday break, but she could not make it to visit, so she was not able to help me, and I was very sad because I had like prepped and I got the Master Sword and everything just so she'd feel like she had all the weapons and everything needed, and, and she couldn't help me out, so now it's back on my shoulders, and I'm like, oh no, oh no. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can put those away later, okay. I know some people think like fetch quests kind of bog down a game, so like in regard to this um, uh, this specific game that you're playing, I feel like I already forgot the name. Kingdom Come Kingdom, I'm gonna go find it. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Do you think side quests benefit it or do you think it kind of detracts from the main goal and you prefer to not have so many? It is pretty funny how mundane some of those side quests can seem in comparison to um, the big goal that you're trying to achieve in the in the narrative. I think that's pretty fun. It's like I need you to get some eggs from my neighbor's chicken coop or something like silly like that, but it's fun. Okay, Tuesday, so we'll finish, we'll finish our fishing quest and then we will figure out what we're gonna do about these iridium ores. Jeez, I don't even know anymore. That sounds like it's gonna look like, or feel like, you're in the middle of like the big fight from The Hobbit or something. Some Lord of the Rings type battle scene. I've never seen Game of Thrones, so maybe it's more like that, but I don't know, that sounds intense. Battling with like, in the middle of 50 other people. Might, that would probably stress me out a bit but it would also be like so visually stunning i might just like forget to i might just forget to to battle and i just be watching everyone around me i could definitely see myself doing that you know i need to make a, a silo soon for this farm uh 
Ah, see, that's so stressful for me. I wish I could, maybe I just need to find more games to practice with like more entry level melee battle type games because having to fight like two or three like skilled NPCs or like other, even if they were like just other, anyone else, that's so intimidating. Okay, so we've got all that. Okay, so let's do it in our mushrooms and then we will go to the lake, catch eight fish real quick, and then. Okay, okay. All right, okay. That was a struggle. That helps when you have like a better understanding, like when the, when the map is just big enough to be able to understand where exactly you need to go without feeling like you're gonna get lost every five seconds, that definitely helps, I bet. I can't stand it when my cat does this. Pop-Tart, Pop-Tart, stand up. <laughs> he looks so dead. There you go. Thanks, kitty. Okay, to the lake. I feel like, I keep talking about Breath of the Wild, but it's really my only frame of reference. There are some areas on that map like I definitely have not even seen at this point. Or like maybe I have, but I just like can't distinguish between any area unless there's like a town or like a building or some significant thing in the area. There are definitely areas that I miss for sure. Oh, jeez. Ah. Stay with me, dude. Oh. This one's being a real finicky lad. There we go. That can be fun, having to go search the nooks and crannies for something on a quest, mm -hmm. but also probably, like, okay, I played a really chill game, nothing like what we're discussing here, but it was called Yonder, the Cloud, Crutch, Cloud Catcher Chronicles, and there was a quest, a little side quest, where this lady wanted you to find, like, 50 of her cats. She had, like, 50 cats, and they, they had, like, there was no hint system, no anything. You just had to like run around and look underneath rocks and in little caverns, little nooks and crannies to find these random cats all over the map. And I found like, I don't know, 15, maybe 20. And I just, I don't even know where else to look. It's just crazy. Some of these side quests can be pretty intense with like how hidden they are. But I guess that's supposed to, you know, keep you playing the game, keep you invested. All right, so we just, oh goodness grief. I think we're gonna lose this one. This is definitely, I mean, we're gonna lose it, but I'm gonna put my money on this being a sturgeon. They are not kind. Goodbye, okay. Not worth it. That is so interesting. I've I've been hearing a lot about like this is not the same thing, but like I've been finding a lot of games where you have to like decode um, languages. Like there's one game uh, Chance of Sonar maybe where you are learning a different language, like that's the whole point of the game, but having that be, having you not able to understand the, the, the language and then having to decode it every time, that's pretty crazy. Sounds like a very, very unique game. Like there's so many things that are being described that, like I've never 
encountered or heard of in a game before, which is honestly cool. Um, how are we doing? Let's see. Okay, we just need four more. It makes me wonder, like, when people put stuff like alchemy and language decoding and all that, like, how much of that is, like, their own personal interest when they're creating the game. Like, maybe they're, like, super into geodes and gems and, um, they super love foreign languages and all that kind of stuff. That's, it's such like a, kind of like a little portal into someone else's mind. And I think that's really, I don't know. I just love learning about games. I took two video game courses um, where I learned about like analyzing them and then also just like the history. And it's just like such a cool industry. There's so much potential. I'd be curious if you could like take those recipes and all this stuff that you learn in game and does it does it work in real life? Like could you make some ancient recipe with the with the stuff that they're doing? That would be interesting. Not that it would be easy to find any of the ingredients probably. It's probably some weird herbs that we don't or can't grow anymore. Two more. This one's easy. No sturgeon there. Good old carp. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big per, um, like I need save points frequently. Save points are very important. Like even in, well, I'm playing Stardew, you can't save in this game unless you sleep. Like if you go through half a day and then you close the game out, it makes you restart the day. So like, I'm definitely a big, I love the fact that like in Breath of the Wild, if you're if you see you're about to enter like a monster camp or something, you can quickly save so that if you get killed, you can reload from where you were versus having to go all the way back. I'm a big I'm a big proponent of frequent saves, so that's that's a bit scary. At least there's a little bit of a a little bit of a saving grace there. If you have the ingredients to make the potion to save, you can help yourself out. But let's go check Pierre's to-do list board. Yeah, there's something. Iron ores. Okay, we can do that. And then this community board should be pretty empty. Yeah. So let's run to the mines. Ooh, the ice cream shop is open. Open for business. Awesome, yeah. I'm really interested. I will definitely pop into the to the stream for for, for this game. It sounds even if like it's not a game that I would like to play, it sounds like something I would love to watch. Like it seems like it has the plot of like a movie or a TV show, which is like so freaking cool. Okay, I think iron is typically in these like cold ones. So let's go look for some iron. Iron. And this will help us get our numbers up on how many other little monster creatures we are defeating in 
in the mines, which is good. Okay, let's see. Ooh, down we go. I do not want that ghost to come near me. I so appreciate when a game has good voice acting. It makes it so much more like immersive and intriguing and you feel more connected to the characters. Like it really does do a lot, which I really appreciate. Almost there. So hopefully we'll be able to get this done before the end of the day, just so we can tomorrow, with fresh eyes, go find Clint. Or maybe even tonight. He tends to go to the, um, he tends to go to the the, the saloon. Oh please, just one more, really. I like Star Wars. I don't know nearly as much as most people, but I do, I do enjoy Star Wars quite a bit. Okay, I think we should have all the ore now. Yes, okay. Ah. I think we go to the saloon just to see if we can catch him before the day is over. Wait, like a four thousand collection, a four thousand dollar collection of Star Wars, like, like memorabilia. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, that's pretty awesome. That is really awesome. Oh my gosh, a cutscene again. You were just making me pasta sauce. What's going on, dude? I'm just looking over last month's earnings, and it's not looking very good. The worst thing, and I hate to say it's because of my friend is Pam, she hasn't paid off her tab in weeks. But I can't ask her to do it, I know she'll get defensive and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Oh no. Ah! Pam. Stand your ground, Gus. Uh, let's go the more roundabout way. Don't want to antagonize her immediately. While I don't think one person's tab is going to fix all your financial woes, at least, at least we avoided some um, conflict there. I think, you know, anybody's hobby, however they want to do it, is great. I went through a phase of doing, having a lot of Marvel, Marvel-like knickknacks and stuff, like I had a ton of Funko Pops, posters, etc. It wasn't super intense, but it's just such a fun thing, and if you love it, and it surrounds you, and it gives you joy, more power to you. Okay, so we've done that task, so let's, what time is it? Almost nine? I think we can, yeah, that's the really cool thing. Like if you keep them in good condition, they just ha have more value for like collector's items in the future. And like, honestly, like Star Wars is such a big thing. Like I do not think they're like, not I do, let me rephrase that. I think there could definitely be like a day where there's like a Star Wars museum and like you could donate your stuff there or like sell your stuff to them if you don't want to have it anymore and you want other people to enjoy it. Like 
gosh, there's so much potential for that. It's so, so cool. And it's such a big universe, too, to, like, with all the extended stuff. Like, I haven't seen... That is the coolest thing I've ever heard, an alarm clock that you turn off with a laser gun. If that doesn't wake you up, I don't know what does, because it's like making you do an action. Like, a lot of times, and you're focusing on where to shoot the laser beam. That is the coolest thing. It's crazy. I, like, the things that exist that I d wouldn't even have thought of. Like, I, I want to be in the person's brain who thought of something like that, because it's so insane and cool. All right, let's put this away, this little, and then I think we will slumber, slumber with Pop-Tart. What was the Star Wars figure that you found at the flea market? Flea markets are a great place to find stuff like that. Very vintage. Oh, neat. A Luke Skywalker prototype edition. See, that's something you probably like would never find in like a mainstream store. I do not have like, well, I don't, I don't really know. I'm such a newbie. I don't fully understand how Discord works, but my Discord name is the same as my Twitch name. Um, so technically I have a Discord, but I don't fully understand Discord itself. I'm still learning it. I wish my fences would figure themselves out. Tater Tot is doing good. How is French fry? Huh, better than usual. We've got oatmeal, okay. Oatmeal is our newest friend, so I'm not worried about that. Where's bagel? Bagel. Okay, they're doing all right. This is a funky song today. All right, let's go check on these guys. Waffles, muffin, cinnamon. Oh, I forgot. I already cinnamon. Oops, yesterday. Okay, and then I think we just had a few cauliflower still in the in the greenhouse. So let's go get those. Pop tart. I should count how many times I find pop tart in that weird laying down dead pose. And I'll go here. I honestly don't think I have a Discord profile picture. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. There are so many, like, there are just so many platforms for, like, like, texting that's not texting, like, Slack, Instagram messages, Facebook messages, Twitter, DMs, like, there's so many different things, it's hard for me to keep track of them all. In. Let's break some geodes. And... I don't know what else we're gonna do. I guess we could check, see what we need to build a silo, but I don't really know where I'm gonna put it. I get very anxious when I have to figure out where items are gonna go, even though I know I can move them whenever. Uh, 
what have they got for us today? Who needs what? Oh, didn't mean to go inside. For girls only, I need a copper bar. Um, I hate when the requests are worded like this. There's been a few like this. It's so weird. Okay. Let's just go get a copper bar. And not think too hard about what they're insinuating. Because who knows? Could be completely harmless. Who knows? Ow. I should have one, and if I don't, those smelt pretty fast, so we can get a copper bar made quick enough. I will need to tidy up the rest of this farm at some point. I'm just being lazy. Cause like, okay, back here. So I wanna get, I wanna get a horse stable and I wanna put like a storage shed so I can move all my treasure chests into a storage shed and put like, like some kegs and some jam makers, etc., in those. And so that might be a good next step for the future. Okay, we do have some copper bars, oops. I just need to figure out where Haley is. I don't know where she would be. Let's go to the wiki. My saving grace. Let's see, it is summer. Let's see, it's Wednesday. What time is it? 11.30. So she's in her home. She stays in her home all day. I can relate. I like doing that every once in a while. Sometimes the world is too much. Just gotta stay indoors. I know she lives in one of the houses. Um on this like far right side past Marnie's. One of them is Jody's and one of them is hers. I don't particularly remember which one, so we'll just we'll just pick one and hope for the best. I think it's a sun, this first one. Yeah, here she is. Perfect! Okay. We are still- we're just ignoring that cryptic note. That's not important. We don't need to go into the Skull Cavern, even though we do. Okay. Well, we're kind of out of pressing things. Oh, good. That's exactly what I love to find in the trash. Oh, Joja Mart. You know what? I actually haven't gone to look over there when since we fixed the community center. So let's go see what happened. Oh, it's so dilapidated. I think, doesn't this get turned into a movie, movie theater at some point? Can I, can I break things? No? Okay. I think I'm only on year two. Um, I restarted, so I have a save where I'm on year eight, and I have this save where I'm on year two. Um, and I think my last stream, which was a couple weeks ago, because I've not, I had to take a break to get to get some things taken care of, work-wise. Um, I am taking this one slow deciding to just go at a slow pace no rush no urgent just when things fall in my on my plate take care of them keep on going but i am still just avoiding the skull cavern which is important to to go to i know but we're 
We're scared of it. Okay, we're close on some of these. The Duggies, I'm terrible at, 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 at fighting. I feel like, I feel like I leave, but I, I hit them like once and then they disappear and I'm like, oh yeah, I beat it, but that's not the case. And I just leave before I actually end up fully killing it. I think maybe we'll just go back down to like the 100 levels and see if we find any mystic um, stone things that could potentially have iridium. Whoops, I meant to have this out. And then maybe, maybe next time I'll have the courage to go to the actual skull cavern and have better luck. I'll need to make sure I have some bombs and staircases by that point though. I have been, um, saving up some jade so I can trade for more staircases instead of having to build as many. Um, so I'll have to see if that works. Oh goodness, here we go. Why can't they drop iridium ores? That would be nice. That would be kind of them. Oh, hello, Mr. Crab. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna have any luck in here. I also have my little face cam block over what level I'm on, so I'm not totally sure where I am at. need to be killing slimes just for those numbers in the Adventurer's Guild. So... Ah, jeez Louise. Any hidden things back here? Oh, is that a little baby? That makes me a little sad. Baby. Oh, this one's resilient. It was a little guy, but it was resilient. Okay, no ores or anything, so let's just go back to that ladder we found earlier. learned what that like that red thing I got hit with by that guy in the mask I've never learned what that actually does because it I, I don't think it like you'd think it would like hurt my health a lot more if it was like really a bad thing it doesn't seem to do too much to me where's the ladder at guys It always ends up being like, oh, there it is, yeah, right near the start. Okay, anything, anything other than villainous humans? They're not humans. I don't know what they are. That's the problem. I don't think there's going to be anything. I feel like we're testing our luck a bit. We're pretty low on health. I think we just call it for the day. Go sell some of this stuff. Let's 
save the bombs, though. I went through a phase where I kept selling the bombs. I needed to, been, to have been saving them, and I totally didn't. So that's my bad. Okay, so we can put the mixed seeds with the others, and then... these away as well. Okay, I think that'll do it for today. Pretty good. It's because I went over there, isn't it? Wow, I'm starting things. Getting the story moving. Is it actually raining? Did it give us some battery packs? That would be nice. Okay, I was gonna say we were gonna call it here, but let's just go run over to Joja Mart, see if we can go inside and see if we can start any more tasks to complete with that. We will hold off our farming. Oh, it's raining now! Heck yes, let's go check. Oops, <laughs> keep pressing the wrong thing. Um, we can check our little lightning rod real quick and make sure there isn't a battery pack sitting there. Okay, not yet. I feel like they're all gonna be mad at me because I don't have hay in here. Um, maybe I should go get hay. Uh, neither of my barns have hay because I'm a bad farm parent. Okay, we're going to do that real quick just so I don't feel bad about leaving them high and dry, no pun intended. I don't know if that's a pun, but situational. It's apropos. Uh, okay, we can put like maybe six. And then we just need to run to the other one real quick. Shouldn't take too long. All right, and while we're here, take care of these few things. Cinnamon and waffles. Goodbye, muffin. Holy moly. I want to go see because if I if there's a battery pack, if I pick it up, then it'll be a potential for another one to, to grow as the day goes on, but we can check later. This is my kind of weather. It's really gloomy out right now, but I love it where it rains. Thunderstorms, all that jazz. Totally my cup of tea. Okay, real quick, real quick. Aha! The missing bundle. Okay, so what do we need? We need silver quality wine. Dinosaur mayonnaise, prismatic, prismatic shard, caviar, void salmon, and ancient fruit. All right, this is perfect. We needed some more tasks to have going throughout. So right now we need to make Willie's boat repairs and to fulfill the missing bundle packs. This is gonna be great. Gives us some more action items. Um, other than that, we're just gonna slowly but surely figure out what buildings we want to add to our farm and then eventually get ourselves in the skull cavern. Don't know when, but eventually. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it for the stream today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This was an absolute blast. Um, yeah, so until next time, um, hope you'll have a great rest of your day and I'll, 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 see, you, I'll see you in the next stream.